In this video, we'll take a look at the isotope notation for calcium, Ca. It's sometimes called nuclear notation or isotopic notation. So there's two ways we can do this. We'll start out with what's called hyphen notation. That's where we have the element symbol, a hyphen, and then what we call the mass number. The mass number, that's the number of protons and neutrons. So we know the mass number for each of these isotopes of calcium. Let's write the isotope notation or nuclear notation for calcium. So for this first isotope here, calcium 40, we'd write Ca, and then the mass number, that would go up here, the atomic number we'd put down here, and then the ionic charge, if it has one, that would go over here. So let's start with the mass number. We know the mass number here, that's this number right here, calcium 40. So we can just write 40 in for the mass number. The atomic number we find from the periodic table, right? Here's our atomic number, and that's gonna be 20. And that's 20 for all isotopes of calcium. 20 is the atomic number, it's the number of protons, it's the identity of calcium. So let's write a 20 down here. And the ionic charge would go right here. For calcium and all the elements on the periodic table, they don't have a negative or a positive sign after them. So their ionic charge, that's just gonna be zero. Often you don't see it written, but we'll put a zero in here. For calcium 42, we could do the same thing. We write Ca for calcium. We have our mass number, 42 here, and the atomic number for calcium is always gonna be 20. And again, this is neutral. It doesn't say it's an ion, so we'll just put a zero up here. Pause and write the isotope or nuclear notation for calcium 44. So we write the element symbol, calcium, we know 44 is gonna be the mass number right here. It's calcium, has to be 20, and then it's neutral, so we'll put a zero here. Note that we don't really need to write the neutrons because we can figure the neutrons out. So with calcium 44, we know the mass number is 44. We know protons, that's 20. So we have to have 24 neutrons here for calcium 44 for that to equal the 44 there. And you could figure out the neutrons from both of these the same way. One last thing, if you have a sample of calcium, most of it's gonna be this calcium 40 isotope right here. We know that because when we go to the periodic table, the average atomic mass, that's an average of all these isotopes, their masses based on how much there are in the sample by their abundance. The average atomic mass here is 40.08. It's very close to 40. That means that this calcium 40 isotope will be the most common isotope of calcium. This is Dr. B with the isotope notation, also called nuclear notation for calcium, CA. Thanks for watching.